Time to get back on the mill. Another week of working. Hope you guys aren't getting bored. <laughs> so last week you saw we got the ball screw and the ball screw nut on. And I mean, it just, it's just so easy. I mean, one finger pretty much. It's so nice, so nice and smooth, you know, because we have hardly any friction here. And then, of course, now we got actually no grit and grime, and we got oil on the ways. So, really happy. Time to get the table on. I was curious how much it weighs. So, you guys can see that. Looks like uh, it's actually wider than I thought, so it's about 775 pounds. So I need to get it turned on its side so I can clean out those four oil points. There's basically like um, set screws that cover those holes, so I can't get to them from the bottom right now. So I'll get that flipped on its side, I'll get that cleaned out. And then I will uh, you know, get a little oil on her and I'll set her on the saddle. I'm, like I said, curious to see if that's going to change with that added weight on this, but I'm thinking it's not going to be that noticeable. So let me get at it. All right, on safely. Sweet. Let me drop her down a little more. So these are the oil ports that I was talking about. I don't know, can you see it says oil right there? Same thing over there. And then, of course, you got two more over there. So good thing is they weren't too clogged. Uh, you just take out these slotted set screws. You know, squirt a little bit of oil in there. And you're good to go. So, a lot of manual oiling on this thing. It'd be nice if it had a bejeweler oil or system, but you know, this is probably before it's time. Got the table all done, except for uh, way wipers. So, Got these support arms cleaned up. I'm gonna paint these when I paint the tailstock, so I'm leaving them bare for right now. Um, but yeah, so she's all assembled. And even with uh, the table weight and everything, I don't even need the crank. Check this out. I mean, I can do it by hand. <laughs> God. Oh man, this ball screw is awesome. Plus it doesn't hurt to, you know, have all the grit and grime removed from the ways and a little bit of oil on it. So, on to the tailstock. I was uh, a little bit concerned, but looks like we're going to be okay. So here's the bottom of the uh, tailstock, and so the screw goes through there, and you can see that gear, which is this one right here, and it comes out to here. So. You turn this and it rotates that. So what this does is it basically uses the screw to be able to move the tailstock, you know, back and forth on the bed. You know, kind of like a, uh, a tailstock on a lathe, you know, if you got a big lathe and it's got the crank handle that uses the rack underneath the V-way. 
So this is what I was worried about. So <clears throat> here's a one and a half inch shaft. So she will just go through there and not, probably can't see with the light, can you? Let me see if I can just do it like that. And not interfere with that gear because I was worried it might hit just a little bit and I was gonna have to remove it. So we're good there. So that was, you know, what I was worried about, but we're good. So happy. I'm gonna clean the underneath of this and uh, get it stuck on the end of the mill. And then I got to uh, get the, uh, the tailstock itself, get that slung up and set down. And man, we're on the home stretch. I'm excited. So just a quick update. Got the bottom of the tailstock on. So like I said this is what I was worried about, but we don't have any problems. They don't contact. That is good. Did take a little effort to get this rod in there. Guess I had a couple birds. It's like six feet long. I mean I filed down what I could, but I guess I missed a few, but after some hammering I got her in. But it's kind of like when you're close to the finish line, but you just can't reach it. So let me show you what i got going on. What's been fighting me here. Not sure how good the light is. So this gear goes on the bottom there. And that is a new set screw because the old one was all boogered up and would not come out. So I had to drill it and then, uh, you know, re-tap it. But then if you look over here... And then you look over here, and then we've got the same thing going on, like right there, you guys can see, and on the other side. So at some point, I don't know if this froze up or got jammed or what, but you know, it uh, sheared the pin. So but I can move it. I put a pair of channel locks on there. I was trying to be ginger on it. So it will move, so it's not frozen right now. So not sure what happened. So now I gotta get out that pin and then get these two sections out right here. Not sure if it's through or if it's tapered, but like I said, <laughs> I was so close to getting this on today, but I don't think I'm gonna get it on today now. So that's what I've been doing guys. So I'll bring you back when I get this fixed and this on and this hanging in the gantry and you know plopping it on the end of the boring mill. We got a nice, beautiful day. I don't know if camera's gonna pick it up with a wide angle or not. Sun is out, it's gonna be like 75 degrees, so beautiful day in the mountains of Southwest Virginia, which works out perfect to get some paint on this thing. So I'm gonna uh, prep the back side of this. I still gotta get the paint, old paint off of this, you know, a needle scale it, and then we'll uh, wipe it down. I can get some paint on this thing. Cause uh, waiting on the taper pin to come in, ordered it from a master car. It should be here today, but I'm like on the end of the UPS route. So he usually doesn't get here at around five o'clock. So the day is kind of done by the time he gets here, which works out. So when the pin comes then we can get on this tomorrow because the paint will be nice and dry and we can get it up on the mill and hopefully get the height adjusted and, um, if everything works out, a little test run, heck, we're good, man. This project will be done. <laughs> so excited to finally make it to that point. So I'm going to turn you guys off. I'm going to get at it, and then I'll uh, bring you guys back, I guess, when I got a coat of paint and something to talk about. Okay, touchdown. Tailstock is on. Got her bolted down. I put the original shims in between the base and the uh, 
tailstock. So right now all I'm doing is uh, trying to get the headstock and the tailstock in sync with each other so she's straight. Here it comes, you ready? Oh! Boy! You gotta drop it so I can throw it. You gotta drop it. You know how the game is played. <laughs> One and done, wow. Okay, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. She'll come over and aggravate me. Well, after some fiddling, I've got it nice and straight. I ended up taking the shims out of the tailstock. I dropped it a little bit, but I still had about 40 thousandths so I was chasing it. So, I mean, you can see the indicator over here where it's zero. And if I bring her over, try to do this with the camera in here. Oh, they didn't get her in that sweet spot right there. Nor you see that? So let me turn her a little bit. If we can do it. So we're at zero there. So we're nice and straight. The only issue is we didn't end up where we need to be over here. Can you guys see that? Hang on. Let me get a light. All right, that should be better. So. There's a hole for the rod right there, my finger, if you can see it. And then that's the original hole. But these two holes are what's on the back side over here. I'll show you. So you see those two holes right there? So yeah, so we're about uh, almost 180, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 180 degrees out. So I don't know uh, how they're doing anything straight or not. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess tap the shaft in now and then I'll have to, uh, you know, read and drill and uh, run a tapered reamer in there for our, uh, you know, new location. Well, what do you guys think? I'm pleased. We are done. So I knew it would be a rabbit hole we would be going down, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that needed to be done. I'm glad we uh, took it apart. You know, this is not a total rebuild because obviously we didn't address the ways. You know, I'm not a scraper. I've never scraped in my life. It'd be way too expensive and time consuming to take this whole thing apart. You know, truck it up somewhere north to where uh, there's a couple companies that will, would grind this get it back put it all back together you know i mean i just i had enough passion to do this but I, I wouldn't do that you know i mean shoot and plus the money i'd be better off just buying the machine that was in better condition you know but i think we can still hopefully make some uh you know good parts on this thing we've given it the best shot we can hope you guys enjoyed this uh little series so what's next well, we got to make some tooling, boring bars, uh, some angle plates. I need to make a taper lock key to hold the Morse taper number five tooling in so it doesn't want to pull out, you know, when you're trying to go this way, when you're going in. And at some point in the future, I wouldn't mind putting a DRO on this. So, but that's a little bit down the road. 
and um, I need to check level again. We leveled it when we had the table and the tailstock off um, when we first started working on it, but I need to check level again. So I may need to tweak that. But other than that, uh, you know, she's good to go. So, um, you know, hey, thanks for sticking with the series. I really appreciate it. I think uh, you guys uh, enjoyed it also. And thanks for the constructive criticism and the suggestions. You know, those are always welcome. And uh, before we go, did get a sticker for the sticker board. So I got one from Stuart. Hopefully you guys can see that. His channel is Stuart Shed Nanigans. Go check out Stuart. I know he'd appreciate some views and some subs. He just recently picked up a Cincinnati, I believe it's a mill master, which is basically a, you know, a vertical knee mill and he's getting ready to do a big show and tell on it. So um, that'll be cool to see. And Mr. Chaos says, thanks for watching. I say thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week guys. All right. Bye.